What's up everybody, this is Steve Stralacci and today we are looking at the Fractal FM9 layouts and a little bit of a customization that you can do for your live views. So the way I've been using this, the factory layouts are their own thing. We're gonna talk about them briefly and I wanna show you my custom layout that, I mean, it's like, it's just little custom. It's like a couple of tweaks to the factory layouts that um, I think work better for me live and they might work for you too. I'm also gonna show you how you can make your own for your own personal use. So what is a layout? When I first got the FM9, I kept hearing the term layout and I wasn't entirely sure what exactly it meant, but it's definitely something you need to just kind of explore if it's your first time using a Fractal product, especially the FM9, overwhelming amount of stuff. It's an incredibly powerful unit. I'm really having fun with it. And this thing's, a, it's a great unit, it's awesome. So what layouts are is essentially what is happening on your floorboard. So what you're looking at and what you're able to do is how I interpret it in my dummy language. Reading it from the manual, it says that a layout is a set of foot switch definitions, each one with a tap and a hold function. You can change layouts on the fly to change what foot switches to do. So that's a really big part of what I wanted to talk about is being able to change these on the fly and also, like I said, customize your own to make it work for your workflow. So the factory layouts. When you first power on and you get into your FM9, you're gonna be in factory layout one, which is called presets. And I'm gonna show you this on the screen. It's really hard to film the actual FM9. As you can see, I got this camera here, kind of trying to point at the FM9. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how good that's gonna come out because the LEDs keep it bright. It's hard to uh, totally capture that with getting the exposure right. It shows what you see here on the screen capture. You have your presets all along the bottom and in the top right you have scenes, tap tempo, and then your banks are the far to right. And if you wanna change this on the fly, so if, say you're playing live, your hands are tied, you're just gonna roll. So you're gonna step heel to toe. So I'm kind of doing that with my foot, stepping on the foot switch on the far bottom right and then the top right, like kind of roll into it. It's really easy, you just gotta try it. And that takes you to what's called the master layout. And the master layout, which is number nine, and you can now see this on, um, on FM9 Edit on the screen, this is what comes up. So while you're on the fly, this is how you would change from your preset view to your scene view, to your effects view, and to any of the other views, I'm gonna call them views, but they're layouts. I might say both. So if I say view, it means layout. You get what I mean. And this takes you to wherever you wanna go. So you can do your amp channels, you can go to your presets, your scenes, effects, the more effects menu, which is just the second page of effects, your looper and your per preset customization, whole nother topic. And say, I just wanna make it as simple as possible for me. I like to use effects and scenes, and I, that's all I really wanna worry about. So I wanna to go to scenes. So I'm gonna click on scenes. It takes me to the scenes layout, which is layout number two. And you see now I have a presets button up there and I see all of my scenes. If I click on the presets, it takes me back to layout number one. Might sound confusing so far, but again, if you're following me along with your FM9, it'll make more sense. And what you see on the screen capture is what I'm seeing on the floor. Again, like I said, it's really hard to capture um, what you're seeing on the floor here with the camera. So to bank for these, again, you just, you can heel to toe press and you have all of your things here. So if I wanna to go to effects, I could tap on effects and you'll see now on my floorboard, all of my effects come up. Whether you have them dialed in or not, this is kind of how um, they come from Fractal in this layout and this order. You can customize this and change it all you want. Say I wanna go back to my scenes. I'm just doing that roll press and I'm clicking on scenes and now I'm back to my scenes. Okay. That was my little overview of what layouts are and how to access them. Now I wanna talk about customizing them because this is something that I feel like really changed the way I look at this fractal unit and it made my life a lot easier and a lot less stressful. So I love having all eight of my scenes readily available to me and I want my effects to be only one button press away. So if I'm on a specific amp setting and I wanna put a chorus pedal on, I wanna be able to just tap one button and that take me to my effects layout. And then I wanna be able to tap another button to get back to my scenes layout. Me personally, if I'm gonna change a preset, that usually means that I'm changing a song or there's a gap in our set list where I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna change the preset. I don't need the preset button easily accessible. So I'm gonna change this and all you gotta do in FM edit, this is really easy. I'm just gonna click on this. And now you see down here, you have your category layout 
and your function. So the function is what's going to happen when you step on it. And your category right now is layout. And I'm going to change this from layout one to layout three. And now layout three is my effects. So now when I press on that button, it's going to take me to my effects. And now I have, ooh, there's all my effects. I can just tap something on and off. And then I want to be able to go from my effects back to my scenes very easily. So I'm going to do two things while I'm here. Um, I'm going to sacrifice this flanger here. I'm going to click category. I'm going to click layout. Select again. And I want to take this back to my scenes layout, which is number two. And you can change this color to be whatever you want. I'm going to, I guess, just keep it blue just for uniformity. So now if I tap this, it takes me to my scenes. And now I'm also going to take this. I'm going to change that to the same blue. So now this button is essentially toggling me between my scene page and my effects page or my scenes layout and my effects layout. So the second thing I wanted to do on this effects page, this effects layout, is that I want to be able to have my tap tempo and my tuner also readily accessible. So typically I don't have a reverb as a switch. And plus, if I ever need more effects, I have this more effects button right here. So instead, I'm going to take this reverb. I'm going to change this to a utility and then I'm going to change it to be tap tempo. And then the hold function is now going to be my tuner. Utility, tuner. So now when I tap tempo, I am able to do that. And if I hold it, I'm gonna have my tuner. I like having this on the far bottom right. It just feels the most natural to me in a, um, in a single floorboard setup. So now, again, I can toggle back and forth between my scenes and my effects really easily. You see that jumping back and forth. And now if I'm on my effects, I can tune up and I can get my tap tempo down and it's all laid out. You like that? Right there, really easy for me to do. Say I have more than one preset, if I'm using a lot of different presets, I can now use that same technique we talked about before, that little roll where I'm going to I'm gonna heel to toe press those far right buttons and it's going to take me back to this master layout. Again, master layout is the one that has access to all of your layouts, all of your views, whatever you want to call them. That is how you access them, that heel to toe press. Can't stress that enough. If you ever get lost, that's the way to go. Just heel toe those far right buttons and it'll take you back to where you want to go. So now you can navigate really easily to everything. So I would like my, again, I would like my effects and my scenes to be an easy transition in between so I can get to them really fast and easy. And I want my presets to be something I can't do on accident. So I'll never unintentionally change to a different preset because I have to do the roll and then I have to click on presets. So there's like a couple of steps involved to get to my preset changes, which is exactly what I want. I can choose a preset. Then I'm gonna click on the scenes button and it takes me back to my normal layout, the one that I wanna see. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys are using for your main gigging layouts. I hope that this was helpful and that some of you guys can use this. It's been working really well for me and I hope it does for you too. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.